So you have some issues with your stream PC audio, whether you're trying to get your microphone audio from your gaming PC all the way into your stream PC so that your stream can hear you, or you just don't know how to set things up. My name is Murray, I'm gonna show you how to do that, but first, intro. So in the past, I've done a video on how to set up your dual PC setup. I'll link that in the top right in the cards over here. Basically, it shows you the whole visual side and a little bit of the audio, so that might also be a resource you might want to check out if this doesn't work out for you. But with this setup, uh, just to show you how I've set my thing up, just so that you know what's going on, I have a USB microphone, or actually an XLR microphone here. It goes through an XLR cable into my audio interface, which is the Behringer U. Aurea UMC22, it's right over here. And that's going through USB into my gaming slash main PC. And so what I have set up on here is Pedal Board 2. It's a software, it's, it's free. Uh, you can get the plugin with audio gain and, and noise gate and things like that. Um, I'll show you all of that and I'll link everything down in the description. Uh, the software gets your microphone audio and it sends it from your gaming PC to a specific out port on your computer. Now with my setup, I have a HDMI going to my capture card. It's an Elgato HD60S. With the Pedal Board 2 so uh, software, I've had the output set to my HDMI Elgato HD60S. With that, I've sent it to my stream PC with an e uh, USB. The USB is connected directly to my Elgato HD60S. And a little bit more about that in just a second. So. I have my audio going through the pedal board system into the Elgato HD60S and then all the way into my stream PC. So with all that hardware set up, uh, if that was a little quick for you, I have done a whole tutorial on that, uh, link in the top right in the cards as well, also in the description. That's how to set up your streaming PC. We're just gonna fix the audio issues that you have right now. Assuming that you have a dual PC and that you have your capture card set up, this is how we're gonna set up the software. So what I have here is with Pedalboard 2, which is the software I have, I have essentially a blank slate here. This is what happens when you open it. Now keep in mind that when I double click here to add filters and stuff, G-Gate, um, VU meter, and maybe a couple others won't appear here with just the stock software. You gotta download these plugins and I'll leave all the plugin links in the description as well. Um, but just keep that in mind. So if you want to be able to use your G-Gate, which is essentially a noise gate like you have in OBS or Streamlabs, this will be very helpful because you're not going to be able to do it in your recording PC with your, your, your OBS or anything like that because if you have your G-Gate, your game audio and your microphone audio are coming in through the same channel. And so your game audio will also be cut out a little bit because of that noise gate. So don't have a noise gate in your streaming software. This is where you have your noise gate for your microphone. So the way I'm gonna start out is I'm gonna just have a levels. What we're gonna do is just grab the output, set it here. Oh, we're gonna grab the output one, put it here, output two as well and uh, this will increase or decrease your levels. So I'm just gonna bring it down to here. Then what I'm gonna do is add a noise gate or G gate. This will just essentially cut off some of the stuff. So let's drag both left and right channels into the noise gate. Then what we're gonna do is I'm gonna add a VU meter, which just essentially shows the, the levels of my audio. So if I drag that out into here, there's my left channel, you can see me talking there, and then there's the right channel. And you can see if I drag these up and down, the level here, you can see how much it increases and decreases. So I'm gonna leave it at about that. And then with the noise gate or the G gate here, if I click the E over here, you can adjust, you can see how much it'll attack the threshold and the fade. So it just takes a bit of messing around, but the attack is how quick it happens. The fade is how long it fades out until you won't be able to hear anything. And the threshold right now is at negative 75 dB. I found that with my microphone, it's not, it's not an actual proper studio microphone. With that, I go usually to about negative 19 or something like that. So when I stop talking, you'll see there's no audio levels. Watch this. So you, you see it goes down completely. But keep, be careful not to have this number too high because if it's too high, then it'll start cutting out some of your audio. You can see I'm talking here at negative three. It's not capturing anything. But if I talk right into the microphone loud enough, uh, even that, there we go. So if I go to six, my mouth is right up to the microphone. But you can see some of my words aren't being pick up, picked up. 
Is that a word? I don't know. And so I just drag it down a bit more, just to enough where I don't hear maybe my keyboard noise, but it's not cutting my voice out at the same time. So that's a very useful tool over there. Now to finally send this out to your, your, your streaming PC and everything, just drag the left and right channels to the output from your G gate. Let's get the right as well. Put that there. I just have this here so I can see my levels. You can't actually send your channels out through this into something else. So I send it straight from my G gate. This is just so I can monitor that. Uh, let's say that we're happy with all of this, with the G gate and the levels and everything. And we want to send, the, send it all the way into our stream PC. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to options. We're gonna go to audio settings and these will be different initially. So what you need to do is go to direct sound. This is what works for me. And then go to your output, make sure it's your capture card. Right now I've set it to HD 60S. Um, there's also speakers, Elgato sound capture, but that didn't work for me, so I chose this one. And my output, I'm gonna leave it at the primary sound capture driver, uh, because I, th I believe, don't count me on this, but I believe that if you change your audio settings down here, and you change stuff around, it'll do the same here. I'm not 100% sure, but just be aware of that. Because if you want to change your microphone input, just choose whichever one you want. Uh, right now it would be USB, but I'm going to leave it at my default because that works. So then what I can do is I can go to file and save as and save it as a preset wherever I want, name it. And the nice thing is, because the issue is when I close the software, I'm just going to discard the changes because I've already have one saved. If I open the software again, um, it sets up as a default again every single time which is annoying so what I've done is when I've saved my preset I just go to file open and it already opens to where I last saved something I just double click on it and there it is again so people usually get a lot of issues with their audio so I hope that helped a little bit now keep in mind that you can use two microphones for your stream so for example Let's say you use this microphone for your streaming PC, you just plug it directly into your streaming PC. And then what you can do is have your headphones, because a lot of headphones have a microphone built in. I have one here. I can just plug this into my main streaming PC and my team can hear me through this microphone. Now this microphone is okay. In fact, it's a little better than okay. It's pretty decent, but I prefer this microphone. I just prefer one microphone, but you've seen in the past where Shroud has had this microphone and a separate microphone so when you when you're talking obviously you have this microphone here and then you have a second microphone there's two microphones you got to be aware of that's always an option um, and I did that at one point but to be honest it got a little annoying sometimes and so I just stuck with this microphone got some software now you can also use hardware there's a bunch of hardware out there like audio inf interfaces uh, I'll link a couple in the description where you can use your hardware to get your audio to your streaming PC. So what would happen is you can plug the XLR microphone into the audio interface, use a USB into your streaming PC, and then the interface has a separate output channels that would go from that into your streaming PC as well. So you've got two outputs, which is nice. You'll also be able to plug that into another input into your, into your streaming PC. That way you can hear your stream alerts as well. Nice thing is, is if you have Bluetooth headphones, I turn my Bluetooth on, connected to my stream PC, I can hear my stream elements there as well. But that's all I have for this video. If you guys enjoyed, go ahead and leave a sub, it really helps the channel out. If you have any questions, leave them down below, I'll answer as many as I can. Also in the previous video, which is in the top right in the cards, with the dual PC stream setup, there's a bunch of people who've asked questions there, and actually the video did pretty well. And I answered a lot of those questions in the description as well. So go ahead over there if you find some other issues with your stream setup. But yeah, I hope that helped. Uh, go ahead and leave a like, it would really help the channel out. But remember, until next time, keep smiling, keep shooting. You mean the teammates in this game are loud? No, me and him are loud. <laughs> what is going on? Now we even. They're chasing me. One knock. Their medic's almost down. Knock the medic button.